my parents, they started their own small business and have been very successful in real estate. And my mom comes from a family business as well. So of course, it's something that I've always thought about, you know, starting my own business, which is why I really want to um, develop myself as a person and make network connections before I really throw myself into the entrepreneurial world. I'm specifically interested in medical technology and innovation in medicine. So this includes everything from things like medical device in hospitals, uh, cutting edge therapies, and genomics. And I read a, a couple of articles recently, two articles about um, some genomics research that's being done in China. And this research involves doing genomic editing on human embryos. So this can be an ethical issue, especially in the United States, because you would never see human experiments in the United States. This is something that is too controversial for US. But we see this happening in China. What's really interesting is they are not afraid to do cutting edge and innovative therapies, especially in the genomics realm. So I think it's only to my benefit to seek China to do these kinds of um, medical ventures that I would like to do in probably a couple of years from now. So I'd really like to um, foster some relationships in the medical industry, gain more experience before I start my own venture. Um, you know, every culture has their own uh, ways of uh, introducing yourself or being polite and that kind of thing. And, you know, I, I remember like some things that people always talk about is like, oh, you cannot gift Chinese people a clock. You cannot gift Chinese people shoes or a green hat. <laughs> I think Chinese people, uh, the word is like a, like ke chi, like they're very polite, right? So if you do something wrong, they will not like point it out or say something, but behind your back or maybe to their friend, they will say something like, oh, you know, that person was not very polite or that person was not very like uh, respectable. So you have to know these things in advance before, you know, you meet a Chinese person and do business in China. In the US, we see that um, people, when they first meet each other, they act like they have known each other for many years. But it seems like that's kind of superficial, that that's just how the social norm is here in the US. You act like you are very friendly with each other, you shake hands, you hug. Um, whereas in China, it takes much longer and you have to go much deeper to develop these relationships. And once you have these relationships, they're very strong and last a lifetime.